Well, back to the games now, and the highlight of last night's drama in the Olympic Stadium was Johnny Peacock's victory in the 100 metres for below the knee amputees. The flagship race of the games featured, of course, the original Blade Runner, Oscar Pistorius, who was pushed out of the medals into fourth. Our sports reporter, Kamian Zerum, has been following Peacock over recent seasons. The sprinter told him today he was full of admiration for the man who has defined Paralympic sprinting for so long. And listen to them singing the name of Peacock. One of the most famous athletes of all time, Paralympian or otherwise. But the home crowd had already anointed the new champion. Before I go out there, I was thinking, who's going to get allowed to cheer Oscar on me? And then when they, when they announced his name, the, the crowd went raw. I was like, there's no way they're going to be that loud for me. And then before they even said my name, they were going mental. Johnny Peacock in the lead. The hottest thing in British sprinting. It's gone! Now the fastest blade runner in the world, and first to congratulate him, the man who made the sport what it is. What did he say, and what does it mean for you to know that, that he thinks you're great? Yeah, he swore at me and told me to never speak to him again. <laughs> no, no, he didn't do that. Um, yeah, you know, I was waiting for my time to come up on the board, and when it eventually came up, he was standing right next to me, so I just gave him the biggest hug, and he said to me, he goes, you know, I told you you'd do it. Then it was straight to mum, who'd nursed her sports-mad son back from the brink of death as a five-year-old, only to lose his leg, meningitis. The chance of getting meningitis is slim, but the chance of actually surviving it are even slimmer. And they told my mum, yeah, they said, you know, you should say goodbye to your son now because the chances of him uh, waking up are very slim. Um, you know, so, you know, her only boy, she didn't want to say goodbye, so she, uh, she sent me down fighting. Survival or world-beating, track-scorching success. Fancy having your name sucked by that many people. What a wonderful life. How, how wonderful is, is everything when it's been so not brilliant quite often, but um, amazing things can still happen. Like winning the biggest race of the Games and those very special feet, they're still planted firmly on the ground. Because I know that people are going to be wanting this medal from you, you know. I know there's so many guys out there that, that, that want this when it comes to Rio so, and the World Championships next year. So it's not going to be easy, it's not going to be a pushover. I'm going to have to work hard to stay in front now.